Hello, today we are going to create this website. This is the shortly website as you can see. Let me show it to you. This is the website with the logo, some navigation bars, some call to action buttons with the holding effect, some headings as you can see some paragraphs and again a button with the image as you can see here is the shorten it button and with the link as you can see you can write anything you want and this is the advanced statistics this portion again <coughs> with the heading some para and three boxes with the image some headings and some paras and further moving again here is the heading uh, the background and the button and this is the footer the logo the footer portion okay these are some logos with the hovering effect okay so today we are going to create this website by using Visual Studio Code as you can see by using HTML and CSS and into the HTML these are some basic things and I am going to use some Google fonts as you can see the Google fonts I am going to use the pop-ins you have the pop-ins here you can click it here like this then this will be appeared and you can select any font that you want and it will be added here and you only have to copy this this portion this portion or you can copy it from here and you can place it here okay so here I have a, a connected my style sheet with the main CSS folder and title and here is the title shortly URL shortening website and Hussein coders as you can see I don't need it I can close it and here is the title shortly URL shortening website Hussein coders okay now further moving as the header starts from here the header starts from here and you can see ends here so this hole starts from here and ends here this hole is the header of our website so as you can see header starts from here header class with the name of header nav class with the name of nav div class with the name of row div class with the name of header flex as you can see we are going to use the flex here image here is the image of the logo class with the name of logo url our unordered list class with the name of nav list and link class with the name of nav item as you can see we have same uh, we have same class we are only adding the class here and anchor point with the name of nav link and into the nav link we have feature pricing resource and login as you can see we only have to copy this link and place it several times okay as you can see features pricing and resources for the button you can see div class with the name of header button for the button we have created that anchor point class with the name of button light and button sign as you can see this is the light button and this is the second one button and the div is closed for the div as you can see for this portion we are again going to create the div class with the name of header content div class with the name of row div class with the name of header flex as you can see we are again going to use it into the flex form div class with the name of header text box and h1 for the heading class with the name of heading primary as you can see this is the heading primary and here is the p for paragraph class with the name of header text as you can see here is some text okay and for the anchor point for the button button sign as you can see again here is the button sign exactly like this one okay so div class header photo and here is the photo with the class with the name of header image okay the div is closed here and the header is closed here we have created this portion by using the html now moving further to the shorten portion from starts from here and ends here to this portion now uh, shorten section starts from here and ends 
here as you can see section class with the name of shorten div class with the name of road div class with the name of shorten content and div class with the name of shorten flex as you can see we are going to use the flex here okay form we are going to create the form class with the name of form and into the input type to the text class form input id to the link and placeholder shorten a link here which is required okay and the form is closed as you can see here is the form okay and an anchor point with the name of class with the name of button button sign and button shorten and shorten it the div is closed and this div is also closed and the section is finished now further moving to the feature section as you can see the section starts from here and ends here as you can see this is the feature section this this is the feature section it's not the difficult one it's the most easiest one portion here section class with the name of features div class with the name of feature text box heading class with the name of heading secondary and there is the heading and para with the class with the name of feature text and here is the para and the div is closed as you can see this is the heading and this is the para okay now further moving you can only have to or you only have to copy this div and you can place it two times more one time and two times more okay so class with the name of row div class with the name of features features grid we are going to create div class with the name of feature card uh, uh, features card features card one as you can see we have three cards here so div class with the name of feature card flex div class with the name of feature card icon as you can see there is the icon here then here is the icons image class with the name of feature card image okay so here is the heading and here is the card text here is the heading and here is the card text we have only to copy this div from here and place it one time and two time we only have to change this portion of the class and you can uh, you only, uh, you have to change the image and the uh, heading and the text also so the section is closed now moving further to the boot section this is this this is the boot section and into the boot section section starts from here and ends here into the boot section class with the name of boost div class with the name of boost text box and here is the uh, class heading class with the name of heading secondary heading secondary boost and here is the heading as you can see here is the heading okay and here is the anchor point with the class name of button button sign button sign boost as you can see the main section uh, the div is closed and the main section is also closed as you can see here is the button okay now moving further to the footer section as you can see footer section starts from here and ends here we only have to create one part then we can copy it uh, we only have to create this portion then we can copy it two times more okay footer class with the name of footer div class with the name of row div class with the name of footer content div class with the name of footer grid and div class with the name of footer items and in footer items we are going to use the div class with the name of footer photo as you can see we are going to use the logo here and here is the image of the logo and the div is closed okay div class with the name of footer item as you can see here is the item footer item and uh, in the footer item we are going to use the uh, footer list and in uh, unordered list in unordered list class with the name of footer list and in the list class with the name of footer item and into the uh, link we are going to use the anchor point class with the name of footer link it's exactly like the these it's exactly like this portion of the navigation bars we are going to create this okay and into the link we are going to use the uh, use span class with the name of footer span and into for the features like this as you can see they are more prominently used and into the link a uh, footer list as you can see this was the item this is the list into the footer list and into the footer link you only have to copy this portion or you can copy this portion and place it several times like one two and three times okay uh, link shortening breaded link and analytics as you can see there is the thing okay so you can close the div here you only have to copy from this 
to this portion and you can place it one time and two times then it will be created and footer items as you can see if in footer items for this portion in footer items unordered list class with the name of footer item footer item socials and into the footer items uh, we have the anchor point with the class with the name of footer link or you can copy it to for this purpose too but we are going to create it mm, and here is the icon that i have used here and name the class with the name of footer link as you can see it's also the footer link and copy this link portion and place it one two and three times and uh, only change the icons here okay then the div is closed and the footer is closed now it's time to style our sheet as you can see we have placed uh, we have created our website now going to style our website and here are the colors that i have used here color sign violet medium red gray violet light blue light color violet dark and white and black font i have told you before i have used the pop-ins in the sans serif way if for the basic styling heading 1 heading 2 heading 3 heading 4 and heading 5 color to the color violet dark for the anchor point text decoration to the none uh, color to the color gray and font weight to 700 and for the unordered list list light styling to none for the universal reset all before and after margin to the zero padding to the zero and box sizing to the inherit for the html font size to the 62.5 percent border uh, box sizing to the border box for the body font family to the font primary color to color gray font weight to the 400 and line height to 1.6 for centering our content as you can see i have used the row many times in our html as you can see here is the row and i have used many times here is the row and I have used it many times uh, maximum width to double one four and margin to zero and auto as you can see header starts from here and this is our header portion as header flex uh, display to the flex align item to center and overflow to hidden for the button margin left to auto and for the flex display to the flex for the text box as you can see this is the text box for the text box flex to the 0 0 and 50 percent padding to the 0 5 viewport width 0 and 0 margin top to minus 9 rem and all but not the last time margin bottom to 2 rem rm and for the text as for this text for the text font size to 1.6 rem and for the photo flex to the 0 0 and 50 percent for this photo okay now moving further to the logo portion as you can see this logo portion cursor to the pointer and for the nav as you can see these are the nav uh, for the nav to uh, padding to the 2 rem and 0 for the list and these single portions are the list displayed to the flex margin left to the 5 rem and all but not the last child margin right to 3 rem and for the links these separately are the links font size to 1.5 rem for the hovering effect color to color violet dark and transition all to 0.5 seconds as you can see it will change its color while hovering okay now moving further to the buttons as you can see we have used two button here for the button button size to 1.4 rem display to the inline block font weight to 700 for the light one this is the light one for the light one margin right to the 3 rem for the hovering effect color to color violet dark and transition all to 57 as you can see it here okay and for the sign one padding to 0.5 rem and 1.8 rem background color to color sign and color to color white border radius to 10 rem to and the boost uh, for the boost this boost button this will appear uh, into the next portion for this boost button color to color white and padding to 1 rem and 3 rem okay and uh, for the hovering effect color to color sign and background color uh, background color to color blue light as you can see it here and see it here too okay okay now for the shorten as you can see this this shorten padding to 1 rem and 3.5 rem heading primary as you can see this is the heading primary for the heading primary font size to 5 rem font weight to 700 and line height to 1.2 rem our header ends here for the shorten section the shorten padding to 5 rem and 0 rem as you can see this portion 
and for the content background color to color uh, violet medium width to the 900 padding to the 4m and 4m and water border radius to 1m for this portion okay for this portion okay now the flex display to the flex align item to the center and for the form as you can see this is the form this form for the form flex to the 0 0 and 80 percent and for the input display to the block width to the 95 percent padding to the 2 rem 2 rem border uh, to the non online to uh, outline to the non margin right to the 2 rem and border radius to 1 rem and form family to inherit as you can see it here and we have uh, styled our button previously now moving further to the feature section as you can see this feature section uh, padding to the 5 rem 0 20 rem and 0 margin top to the minus 5 rem and background color to the color gray as you can see it here okay for the text box as you can see this these 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 are the text box for the text box line item to the center padding to the 1 rem and 30 viewport width and color to the color blue light and all but not the last cell margin bottom to 2 rem and for that text font size to the 1.6 rem and margin bottom to 8 rem and for the grid these are the grids okay for the grid display to the grid grid template column repeat out of it minimum maximum 30 rem and 1 fr grid gap to the 3 rem as you can see here is the gap and color to color blue light for the card padding to the 2 rem and 4 rem background color to the color white and this is the card portion card portion card portion for the card box uh, shadow to 0 0.2 rem 0.5 rem and uh, rgba black color to 1.1 radius border radius to 1 rem as you can see here is the radius for the second and for the third form transform to translate y to 3.5 rem and uh, 7.5 rem for the icons as you can see for the icons that I have used here for these icons background color to color blue light border radius to 10 rem display to the inline block width to the 8 rem height to the 8 rem transform to the translate y to 6 rem display to the flex align item to the center justify content to the center and for the image width to the 4 rem and for the image width to the 4m for the text font size to the 1.3 rem and transform to translate y to minus 2 rem heading secondary for the secondary heading as you can see uh, this is the secondary heading for the secondary heading font size to the 4m font width to the 700 and for the boost color to color white for this color to color white okay and uh, tertiary heading font size to the 2 rem font weight to the 700 and translate, transform to translate by 2 minus 4 rem as these are the tertiary headings as you can see for the boost section as you can see this is the boost section and we were this boost section we were talking about this boost section in that portion this is the heading into the boost section boost color background color to color violet medium padding to the 5 rem and 0 and text box text line to the center and all but not the last cell margin bottom to the 2 rem as you can see here is nothing more than a heading and a button okay now into the footer, sec footer section and here is our footer section and into the footer section padding to the 5 rem and 0 rem background color to the color violet dark and grid display to the grid grid template column to the repeat auto fit minimum maximum to the 15 rem and 1 fr grid gap to the 3 rem as you can see it here okay so logo for the logo as you can see here is the logo for the logo filter brightness 180 percent uh, 180 and list for the list uh, list style to none display to the block and for the socials and these are the socials for the social display to the flex and all but not the last cell margin right to the 2 rem for the items as you can see these are the items ok for the items display to the block link as these are the links text decoration to none font size to 1.3 rem and font weight to 500 for the icons these are the icons font size to the 2.5 rem and for the hovering effect as you can see when you hover it you can you can see when you hover these links these links these links these links 
for the hovering effect color to color sign for the span as you can see there was a span and let me show you here like this span okay for the span features for the span color to color white and font size to 2 rem as you can see color to color white and font size to the 2 rem okay so this is the web website that we have created today this is the whole website with the hovering effect okay this is the whole website that we have created today if you like the video please like our video share and comment please subscribe our channel and if you want the source code of this website i will place it into the description box into a link and uh, thank you for watching